What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually went through the sewers. Pretty disgusting, really. Very, very disgusting. But we made it out okay, no infections or anything like that. So, yeah, we helped out uh, Gym Leader Berg, and uh, good old buddy Hugh, and all that crud, and Team Plasma, you know, they're plotting stuff. They're up to no good and all that crud. So now it is finally time for us to actually go to the Caselia City Gym. Yeah, we need a uh, we need another badge. Yeah, because two is not enough, and uh, yeah, we 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 kind of need to progress right here in this whole adventure. So let's go right ahead and take on the Castelia City Gym Leader. As you can see, there is no guy that believes us in in, a, in us anymore. He's actually out of the way because we actually did some good stuff right here. So now if we can only go th through this door, yes. Look at that. Oh, wow. He he has done a number to this whole area. Now, if you guys remember in Pokemon Black and White, this whole gym, the aesthetic of the gym, was all honeycomb and all that crud. Now, it is all cocoons and whatnot. So, yeah, this is actually going to transport us. So, Clyde right here is like, Hello, you're probably tired of, uh, from wandering all over uh, the crowded streets of Castelia City looking for the pl Team Plasma and the gym leader. So, here, I'll give you this. It's always good to have another water. Yes. And let's see. The theme of the gym is none other than cocoons. You head upward by going inside the cocoons and traveling up uh, threads. The threads are definitely connected to Berg eventually. Okay. Well, that's okay. All right. So, obviously, we're going to be taking on some bug type Pokemon. They're not all going to be bug type guys. There's always a crustle there and. Yeah, that's always going to be an issue now. As you can see, if you get in front of the cocoon right here, it might suck you in. So, just be aware of that. So, here we have a Harlequin. He's like, what do you think? This Pokemon gym, how should I say, isn't it full of uh, outrageous and mysterious charms? I, I, I guess it is. I guess. Okay, so, here we go, taking on a Harlequin. His name is Clarence. And he's going to be coming out with a Sawaddle. Sawaddle, or Seawaddle, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but here we are guys taking on Sawaddle, and the best bet to take on these grass type Pokemon, or these bug type Pokemon, is flying type Pokemon, fire type Pokemon, ice type Pokemon, those guys, but the eventual Crustles will have you kind of crying because they are a little bit of a uh, rock type Pokemon, so be aware of that, let's go ahead and uh, get the flame wheel, and a flame wheel does it again. So this might be the Buttkiss show featuring Big Booty Buttkiss. And look at that, level 18. Sigh of the Torrent grows level, grows level or egg speed without doing anything. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to find our way through this whole area. And, and, and on some areas, you're definitely going to be surprised right here because this it looks like it's unopened. But then, bam. We had a crack. When the cocoon breaks open, the one that pops out is moi. On that note, have a battle with moi. That's a, there, 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 there's a lot of moi's in this whole thing right here. So, let's go right ahead and take on Harlequin Jack. Okay. So, Harlequin Jack coming out with a combi. Both flying and bug type. You can defeat this with an electric type Pokemon if you guys wanted to. So, here comes a gust attack. And as you can see, it's a male. I believe the female counterpart is a little bit stronger since it will evolve into Vespa Queen. And, well, just like that, mm -hmm. we defeat it. And, well, here comes a Swadloon. So, Blitkiss is going to burn this thing up because it is quadruple damage. Grass and bug type Pokemon right there. And Swadloon is looking like whatever. Look at that. Okay, so we, yeah, we're getting hit right here. So, let's go. Another Ember attack for the win. And, just like that. What now? Okay, so... So I have the Torrent grows level 22 without doing anything, and, uh, well, yeah, that, that, that really isn't such a bad thing. Hiding makes battle instincts dull, you know. Okay, so let's go right in here, and this will actually take us to the bottom portion of this whole location. And just like that, yes, there will be another trainer, so might as well battle him while we're at it, right? Okay, you thought you could get through here. Think again. Or so you thought. I'm just blocking your way. Man, these, uh, 
these bug type trainers are kind of weird. They're they're interesting kind of folk. So here we go. We're taking on Gary, and well, he's gonna be coming out with a swaddle right here. And well, big booty butt kiss. You know, eventually, you know, later on when I can, I'm going to make the big booty clan. You guys already know. I got big booty Balto and Pokemon Sword. Big booty butt kiss right here. Hell, we could call Ace big booty Ace. I don't even know. And did I say Crustle? No, we got Dwebble right here. So let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Dwebble, as you guys already know, ground or rock and water, rock and bug type. So if you guys have a uh, good old side of the toy right here, this will be easy because, well, yes, we can actually do this. Uh, the Razor Shell, not Razor Leaf, Razor Shell. And wow, it does have Sturdy, so just be aware of that. And look at this, a Smackdown. Kind of lays the smack it down on our you-know-what. And Dwebble has been defeated. I'm happy about that. Look at that. Okay. So here comes a Combi. And well, let's go ahead and give our Magneto a chance right here. It is a Steel type Pokemon as well. And well, look at that. Okay. Magneto. Steel and Electric type Pokemon. It did learn Magnet Bond. So I kind of want to see what this does. Uh, well, here comes a Gust Attack. Yeah, pretty cool. So here comes the Magnet Bomb. Never misses. That hits it pretty good. So let's go with a Thundershock. Yeah. Yeah, that Bug Bite is not going to do any uh, any good. So here goes Thundershock for the win. How about that? Say goodbye to Combi. And uh, Harlequin, Harlequin Gary has been defeated. So let's go straight to the next location right here. And this will take us all the way to this location now. Before we do anything, let's go right here, because I kind of have a feeling that we need to battle another trainer, and that... Oh, oh, I see what they did. Okay, so if we don't want to battle that guy, we take that entrance. So, let's go ahead and battle him. We do what we want, guys. Let's go right ahead and take on everybody. Mess him up. Okay, so... Here we have Anders. Coming out with a Dwebble. Not Crystal. Dwebble. And, well, here comes a big booty ball butt kiss. Now, I will have to switch out my Pokemon right here because, well, Double does have a, a distinct advantage. That is, it's a Rock-type Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead. Sigh of the Torrent. And there is nothing right there. So, let's go right ahead and go with the Razor Leaf attack or Razor Shell. God dang it. Keep on saying that. Okay, and, well, yeah, its speed has risen. And Razor Shell has not done anything, but look at this Pokemon. It's kicking our butt right now because it's using moves that cannot miss. And just like that, Dwibble has been defeated. I, I I do feel great about that. And well, Swadloon is coming out, so let's go back to Big Booty Butt Kiss. Let's go. Let's get it. Butt Kiss, the Big Booty. And Swadloon is looking pretty good right there, so let's go straight for a Flame Wheel attack. And, well, the flame wheel does its thing. And, well, it's protected right there. Good gravy. All right, let's go right ahead and do this again. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. We hit it. And just like that. There we go. We got Buckus going at level 19. And, well... It's learning re like reversal right here. So let's go right ahead and take away... Eh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take away Odor Sleuth because really... What are we going to do with a Ghost-type Pokemon? And do you think I'm dumb enough to put Buckus against a, a Ghost-type Pokemon? Or hit it with a fi fighting a type attack? I don't know. Okay, so just like that, we have defeated another Harlequin. And we're going to go right here because it will take us down... Or actually, it's going to take us back where we were, so... Yeah. <laughs> probably need to... Yeah, we probably need to go to the side right here. And this will actually take us straight to the gym leader, which is great. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon, because that's always good to do. Let's go ahead and give a Super Potion to Butt Kiss and Sigh of the Torrent. And, well, let's see. 
Yeah, that's pretty much it right there, guys. So, let's go right ahead and take on our destiny right here. So, here's here's Berg, and he's like, Good work back there in the sewers. My bug type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. I'd say my bug type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let me brag a little. Dwebble's round little eyes are cute. It's resilient and reliable. My ace is Liv uh, Levani. It's uh, really a, the best. I think it's it's so sweet how it makes clothes for other Pokemon out of the leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokemon. Well now, let's get right to it. Okay, so here it is guys. Gym battle number three, it happens again. Well, it happens to be against Berg and well, that's flamboyant as he could be, look at this. He throws his, uh, he throws his whatchamacallit, his cape. So here he comes out with a Swadloon. I picked the right Pokemon for this situation right here because, well, Swadloon is both a grass and bug type, so that's quadruple damage right there. Let's go. Yes. Oh, yes. Did not like that. And, well, he's coming out with his Webble. Let's go straight to our guy, Sigh of the Torrent. Let's do it. Sigh of the Torrent, ready to go. And, well, Dwebble, looking uh, like a, uh, you know, like a, a threat, but here comes the Razor Shell. Didn't say Razor Leaf this time. And that right there will lower its defense. Yeah, no matter what you do with that Rock Polish, we're still going to beat you. Okay, so here we go. Let's get it. Razor Leaf and lay it the smack it down on our candy. You know what? Here comes the Razor Shell. And just like that. Dwebble has been defeated. I love this. Okay, so here comes Levani. Again, quadruple damage. This is Budkiss territory right here because, well, Budkiss is, uh, yeah, the fire type Pokemon. The legendary fire type Pokemon. It should be a legendary fire Pokemon, but yes. So Levani right here is a pretty strong, pretty fast Pokemon, but if you got a fire type Pokemon, guys, this is actually the way to go. Has quadruple uh, or quadruple weakness to both flying and fire type Pokemon. As you can see, yeah, we're gonna beat the crud out of this Pokemon right here. Now, one move that you guys should worry about is his physical attacks. It is very, very, very strong when it comes to physical. But as you can see, how's it feel to fail? Look at that, big booty Buckus grows to level 20. Okay, and side of the torrent without doing anything grows a level 24 and yes, we are incredible Just incredible. Yes, the wrestler just the incredible. Oh ho! You're very strong indeed. I guess it's no surprise. I lost here Take this insect badge. I think it'll suit you So just like that guys we get ourselves our third badge the insect badge throwing out that peace sign look at that I'm throwing it out That's right suck it Okay so there it is. Oh, the insect badge suits you even better than I thought it would. If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including trade Pokemon. Ah, uh, ah, uh, and uh, you know what? I'll also give you this. We get ourselves the TM76 Struggle Bug, which is good. Struggle Bug also lowers the special attack of a target that, had, that was damaged. I'm the best guy to tell you this. It's little things that count. Hmm. How many discoveries have you made since you started on your adventure? When I was a kid, my innocent heart was captured by the beauty of Bug-type Pokemon. I drew with them and I battled with them, and after all this time, I continue to discover new things. A world shared with Pokemon is a world swarming with mysteries. That is true. That is why we're gonna get the F out of here, and well, look at that, guys. Bam! I'm back, baby. So, that right there is another battle well done. That is three badges in all. And, well, I'm very happy about that because, well, you know, we are totally surpassing quite a few things that we haven't done, guys, and that is uh, make quite a few episodes of Pokemon White, too. So, in the next episode, guys, we are going to be going straight to the desert. Yes, we have business up there. And, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully, maybe just hopefully, we might find a Pokemon here and there that might suit us in our adventure so again thank you guys for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button the notifications button and if you guys want to make a small donation right here to this channel links on the description below i will see you guys in the next episode as we hit the desert see you guys